Yes, ladies and gentlemen, this is Barry, man. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, it is very sunny out here in Toronto, but it is about 4 degrees Celsius. But we're used to it. We're just feed. All right. Now, um, I just watched a video um, on Ragashanti Instagram because, you know what I mean? So, for those who don't see the video, go on Ragashanti Instagram. Go watch the video. You know what I mean? Of a teacher who was recorded in the class by a student getting out on another student. You know what I'm saying? And, you know, I had mixed feelings watching that video. You know what I mean? Tremendous hurt, tremendous pain, tremendous distress. And it is just an unfortunate thing, people. Now, what even hurt me to is to say some adults, mostly those who are not living in Jamaica, who they have foreign and they feel like them know everything right about everything and them understand the, the current Jamaican situation. Talk how this is unacceptable and this is that and, and thing and these are the things that turn you in a criminal and one bag of something. You know what I mean? That even, even hurt me the most. Now ladies and gentlemen, let me tell you. There's a lot of frustration in the public sector. People in Jamaica who them who them who them serve certain sectors education sector health sector you know what i mean security forces and them sort of stuff there even firemen you know what i mean because there is like a wave of degradation as it relates to respect you know what i mean it's like say, everybody feel less like they can disrespect somebody who is in in some level of authority right now what will be in a school yard if you feel like in can this a teacher I've been seeing so many videos over, over, especially this year, where students, especially boys, in high schools are disrespect teacher, box teacher, fling things pan teacher, and all them all the stuff there. You know what I mean? And you think, say, teacher, now go look out. Teacher, human being, in you know, the people. Teacher, human being. And there are many persons who them have them pitney at them yard. One pitney, two pitney were teenager. And them can't manage them. And that teacher, they have 30, 40, 45. I see teacher in Canada right now. I demonstrate because the Ontario Premier say they are going to increase class size by about three more picnic. And it's a big thing. Jamaican classes are overcrowded at, you know what I mean, and just miserable. Right? And you expect a teacher to take this from a youth. You know what I mean? And not say nothing about it. Now, me don't blame that teacher there. See? Because right now, you see, if you have a, have a, have a soft exterior in a them classroom, yeah, them boy pick me and run over you and video it. See? They will tell you all kind of things and video it. See? It's like there's a generation right now that is so, that, that lack respect, that lack any decorum, and them no business, but no, they will diss you. And they will diss you anywhere. Anytime and a business where you want to be called them are bad people and them have them charge and everybody want to be bam and be, 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 be unruly and they want to be this and they want to be that. Now listen, Jamaica have some of the brightest teenagers in high school right now in I rural. See? But you have some where it's like they are literally. You can't see the signs that they are becoming the scum of society if certain things are changing in them life fast. You understand? How much more can a teacher take? How much more can a female teacher take when she's having a class two or three boys who decide so they're going to stand up and they're going to talk some things, right? And they're going to be insolent and all them old past stuff there. See? And every teacher comes from uptown, you know? You have some bad people teacher, you know? You have some girls and teacher. You have some woman where you are. Either student, principal, the man or whoever, no guy can't diss them. You understand? And I saw it figure. She have to set a rule. She have to make them know, say, yo, not that one, yeah. See? Now, when she say, don't, don't shout at me because me know your mama. No, it, nothing wrong with that. It's obvious that if a, if a little boy, I go shout at a female teacher. It is, it could be suggested that I saw him deal with Symbols of authority to a female in our own house. So I feel like he can't come and do it as a to and get her with it. It may be so, it may not be so. But if it's not so, he feel like he can't diss the teacher. Because uh, there's a wave of it going around. See? When she say, So me murder you in a we know Jamaican 
parlance. You know what I mean? She not go literally like kill him dead and him breath done. Right? But she make him know, say, yo, don't deal with me that way because I will do your things. You not go come run over me. No, 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 no. Me back the teacher there 100%. And I would love for the government because I think the Ministry of Education is out of touch with what I go on in a Jamaican schools, especially in a the underserved communities. Them, You know what I mean? A pen book that thing that, you know. So you know what I go on in that area there, you know. See, you know where them people they generally come from, you know. You understand? No, uptown people don't go to Pembroke Hall. You understand what I say? I mean, I say, um, it's only ghetto people people alone go on bad. No for them go on bad, but no for them go the same way. You understand what I say? It should be a, 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 it should be outlawed that any student who disrespect and attack a teacher, it is a criminal offense. Or a nurse, or a fireman, anybody who serve the country, and somebody feel like they have to disrespect and assault them verbally or physically, it should be a law against it. Anywhere you go in the United States and Canada and you go to a hospital, there's a sign there. If you abuse anybody inside you, you will be ejected. Right? And you can be liable to be charged. If you go at any immigration port, you see this sign put up. You can't diss them. In a Jamaica, you diss any police, you diss any nurse, you diss any doctor, you diss any fireman, you diss everybody who are trying to help people and serve people. And the people now get no money, they now get no respect from the government anyway. You know what I mean? And then people who them are serve are disrespect them same way. If it tap, you understand? When me I go to school, so bad boy are in my class, you know, some bad boy are in my time, you know. But you will never hear one of them diss a teacher, especially a female teacher. See? Because if a youth do a thing and once you see a teacher come, a run, we are run. We are run. We now stand up and go on like say boy, we're brave. We are run, we are jump wall and now say, teacher, if you go catch me. Nowadays, them a boy they there, we tell teacher about their mama and a business about it. You understand what I say? So I back that woman there 100% and I want to hold it more teacher, stand up on them foot. I make them pick me and know, say, yo, no deal with them, we are no boy. Come out of my class to you know, that me for tell you, you know. See? And if I saw you go, I saw you go, I don't know deal with it afterwards. See? I hope that this lady don't get no sanction or nothing or elsewhere. It will only give some of them pit who feel like they have a whole lot of rights and a responsibility to continue to this teacher. A teacher will respect a child who is manageable, even if you pit in a bright, who is manageable and respectful and help them. But most teachers will, 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 will like don't deal with a pit who rude or worse, worse when they rude and dunce. A rude and don't speak to somebody we want to deal with. It. You understand what I say? So, woman, ladies and gentlemen, if you find a lady, send her a video, tell her to buy man back her 100%. You understand? And don't apologize to nobody for nothing. You understand? You have to stand up for yourself in the Jamaica as people run over you. Saying, they pick me too bright. Barrel man out.